Hey guys, Justice Curry with you. I have a problem. You're enabling me by watching these videos, but buying large lots of toys. The same thing that I've done many, many times to acquire the collection that I have. Bar buy large lots, buy you know 50-ish percent of what the value is, okay. sell it, and then buy you know take that money and buy the stuff that I really want, and then keep a few things from the lot. So I do that over and over and over again for many, many years. But that's not what you care about. You don't care how I do that. You want to see the toys, and I want to show you some of the toys as well. So we'll go out here and. I'll lay them all out here in a moment, but yeah, isn't that nice? Little little collision ice slid into the fence. Wonderful. It is jammed packed to the max, and we'll go through it a little bit more and show you what's in it so I can um, get it ready for storage. Something that was pretty neat, this one, uh, the BT, what, one, and the, I don't know, what, zero, zero, zero. He's gotta probably have a, a better name than that but it's a cool story of the black C-3PO um, droid, but he's like an assassin droid. Star Wars Celebration. Packing stuff in here. Star Wars Pops, which I promised I would never buy, but they're Motu themed. Uh, stuff for my kids like this Nerf crossbow type thing. More Star Wars back there. Um, Devastator. I'm probably going to be devastated when I open this and stuff starts sliding. And, nope. Modern Transformers, vintage Transformers, uh, translucent for my own collection on a translucent kick, the Force Ghosts. Some modern Motu. That's always a cool set. There's a bunch of them DC versus uh, the Motu. So, yeah. Got a Rolling Thunder box complete. This is super unique. I don't come across things like this that often, but uh, Ben Cooper, never used, probably 60s-ish. Um, Frankenstein costume. Going back around, there's just stuff packed everywhere. And for my um, super, super special one, I didn't realize this was, uh, so special but the tyrannosaurus dino shredder there's another name to him I, i'm drawing a blank but incredibly rare more than likely a, a low production and then most of them don't work so it has a little spring loaded thing button on the back i push it but bam it's working transformers upon transformers boxes beautifulness so I'll uh, I'll show you guys some more in a moment I'm gonna unload it and hopefully my kids won't destroy it but that's part of the adventure all right stand by it is recording wonderful I brought all the treats in for you to see and the gun. yeah that gun came with it too and uh, my kids get to reap the benefits of this pick as she shoots me in the butt. Um, very Transformer heavy lot. I'm not incredibly knowledge knowledgeable about Transformers just because it's not a passion of mine. I only had a handful of them growing up. I appreciate them, I like them. It's just not in my wheelhouse. This one's a, a third party. Been uh, going around the different groups. Uh, there's some inappropriate things that you can buy as add-ons for this figure. Um, I'm not even gonna go, I'm not even gonna broach to broach that topic. Uh, exclusives, modern Transformers, really cool Devastator. And guns. Yeah, and guns, yep. Yeah. More modern Transformers, blah. One that is pretty neat that I'll add to my personal collection is the Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends Venom. So with Build-A-Figures, they're, up, they're genius because um, you have to buy figures that you don't care about in order to get a piece, an arm here, a leg there, a torso there, and buy, you know, spend 
140, 160, I don't know what it is exactly, to be able to get all the pieces to build this darn figure. Hence the Build-A-Figure. Excellent marketing. Um, and this one's the newest wave in the early 2019, which it is right now. A vintage G.I. Joe Rolling Thunder. Uh, pretty much complete. The box has seen better days, but like I always say, um, the fact that is it exists, hey, that's good enough for me. Um, not one of my favorites. I didn't have it. I didn't know anybody that had it growing up, but uh, collectors dig it. It's the fact that it's here and has the original foam inserts uh, is cool. Vintage. Bring it up to your face. Yep. Um, this, I'm not going to go through the trouble of taking them all out, but the Super 7 Filmation Masters of the Universe, this one was Tongue Lasher, Sorceress Merman, Manny Faces. Uh, check out this, guys. So Celebration, like 2017 Celebration, is that yearly uh, Star Wars extravaganza where, you know, tens of thousands, if not, I don't know, I'm making these numbers up, they say 50% of statistics are made up. Half true. Half true, yes. Which is a statistic of itself. Um, but Star Wars Celebration, they had some type of raffle or uh, games in which my friend picked this one up, but it's a custom like Sith Lord uh, C-3PO. So they took a vintage case, painted it all up beautifully, and he bid on it, went to charity, and he didn't want it no more. So went in my collection. Stuff that will go into our drinking cabinet, our, our glassware cabinet, <laughs> um, like we need more. These are modern, made by Super 7, but still pretty neat uh, with He-Man and then his counterpart, Skeletor, right there. Uh, there we neat, go. Neat artwork, I, I like it. Couldn't pass it up. Um, these are making their rounds. Like Beast Wars, five years ago when I was flipping some stuff, wasn't uh, that desirable, but now, you know, the early 90s, guys are becoming uh, more sentimental. They got, they're, it's that right age, so they're they're fastly um, going up in value. Fastly? Fastly, quickly, with the quickness. I could care less about Beast Wars, they're beyond my time, but my, my brother would like that, he was younger than me. Um, more modern, blah, Transformers. Don't care, don't care. We can't pause it. This is live! Baby Jay's eating cheese puffs! Okay, he'll be fine. Take them away from him. Baby Jay, stop eating cheese puffs! I showed you guys this in my car earlier. I showed you at least one of them. But uh, a number of years ago, they did this, you know, DC versus He-Man characters. You know, the aquatic one, Aquaman, Merman, and then the flying ones, Hawkman and uh, Stratos. And there's multiple others. Which is, I think, uh, I don't even want to mention it, I'm not sure. Lots of loose Ninja Turtles. I um, already showed you this one, the, the gem, which is freaking sweet. But other ones that I have fond memories of, like I remember my brother opening up uh, this panda, Kung Fu Panda, that doesn't sound right, that was a Jack Black cartoon movie. But he opened this up Christmas when we were little kids. I got the, uh, the hide shell Ninja Turtle and sent him out. I mean, I remember playing with it. Um, the Ben Cooper mask I showed you already. The Giants. This is kind of like a prototype looking, made to be, made to look like a prototype. Because prototypes essentially, uh, they would use whatever plastics they had laying around just to see what the mold looked like. Um, and even now, even nowadays. So they purposely made it look like what prototypes looked like back then and, and now, and collectors lick it. It's not, it's not my style, but hey, I don't judge. People collect the way they want to. Um, pops, I bought that, uh, the Star or the He-Man ones. I couldn't resist this Voltron. I have a smaller version of this right now, um, but this looks, yeah, what's the difference? He's going into the bathroom. So the one I have, of course I go into the bathroom and find this one. Uh, so the, the larger one from the Netflix cartoon, I'm guessing, is that one. And then, who knows, I like Ultron. 
You like Voltron. We all like Voltron. I don't know the name. Comment below. I don't know the name of this guy, but he's a Marvel Legends figure. Uh, I just I thought he was freaking sweet. It was only a couple bucks, so I went, yeah, might as well. Mr. Jack-O-Lantern, the Headless Horseman guy. Oh, this is actually neat. I've never seen it before. Uh, Robocop versus the Terminator. And do, 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 do. if you can see, it is essentially kind of a, a Robocop Terminator combined, you know? I don't know the story. I think there was a comic for this, some Dark Horse comics. It even has a dog, a Terminator dog. Love it. That'll go in my collection. Uh, more miscellaneous, this, that, Transformers. Uh, tons of modern. I can't believe I bought this. But when the price is right, I'm only paying, you know, three, four, five bucks a piece. I can't turn down modern uh, G.I. Joe's. Granted, I already have too many. I'm swimming in them, but that's part of the sickness. Buying, buying more. Part of your disease. Exactly. It's a lot funner buying than it is selling, but selling is an essential part of this collecting because um, I see a lot of collectors get into troubles with their finances and relationships over overspending on stuff they want. Uh, something I love, love, love these. Um, I army build them myself. These are the zombie vipers. Stop Modern. Them. Stop moving them. There. Get your hand off it. I'm trying to get his face so you can see it. There we go. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. And here's his face. Uh... Wait, hang on. Let's see if we can get him in there. Nope. Nope. No chance. No chance. That's all right. Um, but a giant box of zombie vipers and whatnot. It, the kids are being bad upstairs. That's all right. I don't know why I bought more of these when I already have been hoarding them. Uh, Super 7 came out with just the, hey, uh, no, she's going, why are you buying it? I don't know why I'm buying it. Um, but they're cool, they're neat. I'm gonna open these and display them and have a jolly good time with them. You're like, yeah, right. What's a jolly good time with a toy? You really wanna know? Yeah. I'll tell you, behind this, if you're a Patreon on my site, you can find out. <laughs> knock off the Japanese ones, or the Chinese, sorry, that have been coming out to made to look kind of like the original. It's a 2017. Um, maybe this isn't a Japanese one. Is this a hash? I don't know. I have to do some more research. And then I thought it was a, a knockoff. Starry Ors, a big box of them. That's what Starry Ors look like. They had a wind up on the back of them and then they had some type of like uh, action that would be on the front. So you'd wind it up and those claws would pinch or the blades would spin or there would be like a drill that would spin on them and, and essentially like this giant robot that a person would be in that bubble and, and fight them. But I mean, there's a market for them. Guys collect them, but it's just not, it's not huge. I, I remember playing with them with my, my buddy Dan Body that had a ton of them. So Definitely a, a sentimental niche. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. Ah, I'm too many Transformers. Bought tonnage of these Marvel Legends. Basically every single one he had. Um, so he wasn't just trying to get every single one. That's what I was talking about. I'm sure you already know about this. But the Build-A-Figure. You're buying Sabretooth. But uh, if you want this arm for whatever figure that was, it was Gal not Galactus, but... Uh, I can't remember the restrict Apocalypse, that's right. So Apocalypse arm, you had to buy all of them. And granted, here's all of them in that wave. Yeah, there's a good wave, Wolverine, Magneto. But you probably don't want Marvel's Gladiator. Well, you gotta buy them if you wanna get Apocalypse. That's sweet, Storm's pretty neat. Multiple man, not so much. Get a good. No means no. Um, Thor Ragnarok, didn't you watch that with me, Liz? What is it? Um, no recollection. What? what? Thor? Thor. We went to see it and he was like on that battle arena and he had the battle royale. Was he hot? I don't know. Oh. I don't judge guys. I do. I hate him. Good. Uh, Deadpool, Spider Man, lots of Marvel Legends, um, some horror type things, Ash versus the Evil Dead. 
what was that movie that I liked of his? Army of Darkness. I remember being a teenager watching Army of Darkness and freaking loving it. That's about the farthest I go into the horror genre because I'm a baby when it comes to any other like Texas Chainsaw, Freddy, Jason, whatever. Nightmare City, no thank you. Um, let's see, but, but speaking of Nightmare City, there's Nightmare on Elm Street down there. Moving right along, uh, the miniature Terror Drum, which is freaking cool. A lot of loose um, Transformers. Where is, he better be in there. There we go. I'm gonna have to look in there some more. So there was one that I definitely wanted to make sure was in there. Uh, Star Ears again. Oh man. It's like a remote control, a little disc that would shoot out of his mouth. And the box. It, then this box has a lot of He Man related stuff. I thought it was pretty funny. These are modern knockoffs to look like they're vintage. Los Amigos. His uh, arm is missing. Is that supposed to be that? Yeah, it fell off oh. right there. But they look, I mean, Mexico was making bootlegs of He-Man figures back in the early 80s, mid 80s, whatnot. But they realized there's a market with people like us all over the world going, I want those vintage knockoff Mexican bootlegs. Well, they're, they're tricking people because they're continuing to make, they're not vintage. These are current, 2018, 2019. They're, they're pumping these out and sometimes fooling collectors into thinking these are vintage but it don't matter if you like them you collect the way you want to collect them. Uh, golden book look at that man Ouch. four yeah, stories so it's a vhs tape if you don't know what a vhs tape then you have no business watching this or collecting I'm, vintage or toys collecting vintage toys I'm gonna take that back because I know I, there's uh, a younger audience that watches me as well that probably never had VHS tapes. So that's fine. No judgment, no judgment. Uh, one that you guys will like. In the meantime, while he's digging, Little Dustin's getting prepared for war. Little Dustin, look over here, buddy. Say hi. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, here's one of those ones I was just showing you, the Super 7 release uh, to make them look like vintage figures. So it's the bl brighter blues, and I mean, a lot of it's different from the originals. Um, but that's cool, I, I haven't had one of these yet. And last, but oh, for my Star Wars lovers out there, I remember reading this uh, graphic, it wouldn't be a graphic novel, it was just a straight up novel. Um, I don't remember the series, but it was, Thawne. Thrawn, he was that blue looking admiral or whatever that terrorized the uh, Star Wars characters after episode six. Um, so there's a little figure right there, some trophies that he has that he's taken. I thought this was an excellent one. I'll probably keep this personally because I just have fond memories of reading all those those novels uh, in my late teens, early 20s, whatever. Uh, Super Shredder! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Show. Super Power. Another one. The This would have been the, the second movie, Secret of the Ooze. With Toka and Razor. Hold on, buddy. We'll help you in one What's more second. We're almost done. I help you. My first mint on card Thundercat. Granted, it is Thundercats. I remember those. Thundercats. Thundercats. Oh! oh. Thundercats are. Uh, yellowed bubble creases dense. I don't care. It's my first Thundercats. My Thundercat card. now. Yeah. So I could care less. I like it. Um, someday I definitely want to add into my collection Lion O. That would be a fun one. Um, even though I didn't have them, a lot of my friends had them, so some warm, fuzzy memories associated with this. But I'll find it a new home of someone that had it wanted it. Another one that I probably only had a handful of in my uh, collecting days is Mint on Card Silverhawks. Uh, this would be Hardware and Prowler, but um, not a huge Silverhawks fan. Just that I didn't watch the cartoon and have a sentimental attachment to it. I appreciate it for what it is, but um, just wasn't part of my childhood, so I don't have a need to collect it. More mint on card 
G.I. Joe's. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, uh, you know what? That Alley Viper is pretty darn spectacular. I love the um, late 80s Alley Viper with the oranges and the urban assaults. Heck, check that out right there, guys. Mark Pennington was an original artist for the line in the late 80s, early 90s. I reached out to him and he does commission art. And I said, hey, this is what I want, kind of an Alley Viper in a combat zone. And that's what he did for me. He made a one of a kind piece. Four Ninja Turtles, AFA graded Krang, unpunched, it's neat. And then another Super Shredder, but uh, a different version. I don't know where I set the other one, but yeah, right here. So it just came out years later. Same figure, but you know, the artwork's different and the releases would have been different. That's why uh, it's totally. I don't want to reuse the word different here. Different, 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 different. His two G.I. Joes. Great vehicle. Boxed Cobra jetpack. And then, I don't think I have, oh yeah, I got just a little more box to show you. Uh, these are great displays for Lego figures. I don't care about those Lego figures that are in there currently. I'll switch them out with something more sentimental or something that I enjoy. But there's spots to hang them on the wall and you can stack them if you wanted to. It's a great display. I'm gonna pass them up. I'll save the best for last. Check this out, guys. And boxed Transformers. You just don't see this. You don't see people with this quality of, uh, with the inserts inside. I think this one has an unused sticker sheet, six shot. show you some of oh uh, check this is this the one no slag is that slag yep the triceratops dinosaur granted he doesn't have the insert but the box is there um doesn't have all his pieces but i don't care beggars can't be choosers Ooh. The new Predators movie, I didn't see it, or The Predator, I haven't seen it yet, I'm a big fan of Aliens vs. Predator, horrible movie reviews, but I don't care, I'll still watch it myself, but um, here's some of that, I'm guessing this is NECA, that's the ones that typically put out these, uh, these Alien and Predator figures that people seem to like. Oh, my, my sister-in-law might want this, a Chucky doll, the good guy doll. Hi, I'm Chucky. Rachel, it's all yours. Rachel. <laughs> uh, ooh. Super rare. I've had this box once before, but never the the contents with the foam insert and the complete vehicle. Or the links, yeah, Sky Links. Love it. It's great. Great piece. Great addition. Um, speaking of aliens and predators, a bunch of other ones. I'll edit that part out later. Um, some really cool looking ones, Bad Blood Predator and Elder Predator. Cool paint jobs, the armor's different. Some female Predator, well, not some. Here's one, I don't know the backstory on her. But uh, it's kinda cool, I don't know. I'll have to check it out, do some research. Let's see. Galvatron, is that how you say it? Yeah, Galvatron. People like this. It is a bizarre looking one, especially when it's uh, put together as like that cannon or whatever. I like when it's transformed into the robot version. I'll have to check and see if it works. Typically, if I'm selling something, one of the first questions people ask me is, does it work? So I have to go through, put batteries in it, see if it works, because that affects value. Um, the bridge layer, early G.I. Joe's. I picked it up just because I have toll booth the driver for it and I went, you know what, some people like that. And then, really excited to add this one, Marvel's Cyclops. It literally looks like it came out of the cartoon with the colors, the vibrant colors. Um, it's, I'm gonna be hard pressed to ever sell this one. I'll probably put this in on my ceiling. So thanks for watching. Thanks for my beautiful bride 
with the operating the camera right there, rolling her eyes. Um, make sure to check out my Patreon site. There's, and if you're going, what the heck is a Patreon site? It's just how you can be part of this whole adventure. Um, granted, I have to spend a lot of time and energy flipping to finance, but this flipping stuff is not my passion. YouTube sharing my adventures, going to people's collections, and uh, documenting everything or talking about a specific toy, that's, my, that's what really makes me giddy. I love it. But to keep doing that, I, I'm gonna, I gotta edit that out. My wife's like shaking her head, don't use that word giddy ever again. But to do that, I need a couple dollars, because I just do. I need your money. I'm begging for your money, I'm pleading for your money. If you send a dollar or two, I'm gonna, I really gotta edit that. Part. That's awful. Yeah, that is awful. Let me start back over. Um, This is neat. Star Wars in the bag. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Pause for a second. You need to slow down because I can't focus on anything when you're going that fast. And you have something black on your nose, but I can't. Like I'm trying to catch your stuff, but it's like this, this, this. Like I can't get it clearly, and I want to. Okay. Okay, go ahead.